I attended the HICPAC meeting, which is the working group committee that is set to send recommendations for COVID guidelines and isolation practices to the CDC. Once they have written and decided upon those guidelines, the CDC will then review them and approve them or not. I was one of the 900 experts of the People's CDC that signed an expert letter saying the guidelines were insufficient, and I therefore got to be a part of this meeting. This was the meeting's overview, and based on these titles, you'd expect us to talk about COVID precautions here and here. However, for the first two hours of the meeting before public comment, not a single minute was spent on COVID precautions, which is incredibly odd when they specifically invited people for public comments from this expert's petition specifically for the purpose of commenting on COVID precautions and the recommendations for said policy. Instead, they focus on topics such as multi-drug resistant organisms and precautions for that, medication recommendations for HIV, and at what point this big hard-hitting issue was, I don't, we don't like the word for standard precautions, so maybe we should do everyone precautions. We're workshopping the name. And then by the time we got to the public comment section, every single story and every single comment was on COVID masking, masking for COVID, how it has been impactful, how people have to change their entire lives, how nososomial hospital-acquired COVID infection is a significant risk for people that have to go to the hospital, such as for cancer treatments. And every single statement, again, was for masking and for doing something and changing the policy recommendations, that what had been outlined by HICPAC was insufficient. An important note I took down from an unrelated topic earlier in the meeting, that while the CDC can't require things, they can say that this is what should be done and what you should be doing in clear language. And that is ultimately what is lacking. And during all of these public comments, the moderators going through the individuals to calling next kept delaying after a person would finish, they were delaying calling the next person. And you could see by their expressions that they did not care. Overall, it was a very disheartening experience.